Hey there everybody welcome back to one more Reddit dishonesty story. Prior to we beginning please hit the subscribe switch and also alert bell if you love to view even more dishonesty stories. Wish to learn exactly how to get back your ex-spouse? Inspect the link in the summary box to find out exactly how. Do not understand what it recommended. Hi individuals, me, 24 meters, and my now ex-spouse, 24F, broke up a couple months back. I caught her cheating with a person friend, provided her a chance however she began acting weird again a pair weeks later on, distant, hiding phone, etc. As well as she intended to end the partnership then because of me raising my issues as well as generally examining the strange crap she was doing. Couple weeks later on she hinted at attempting the connection again but wished to proceed being friends with the guy she cheated on me with so this is where I determined I was done. All this occurred late December slash early January. Anyway, a couple months out of the relationship I'm still feeling shitty but even though it was a relatively short relationship, I was very happy and probably very in love but I'm putting some of this down to the fact that she was my first girlfriend and maybe I was overwhelmed by how good it felt. I went through a couple weeks of doing very good and being positive about the future to now being like am I gonna ever meet a partner I connect with and I'm attracted to on the regular. All of this was not helped by hearing that my ex is now back on Tinder, where we actually met. Now obviously even though the way she treated me and the cheating was brutal, she is free to go on Tinder. The part that bothers me is why cheat on me for basically no reason? Like one would think that because of the fact that she was friends with the guy she cheated on me with then she would just monkey branch onto him. But instead she's on Tinder so our relationship was thrown away for no real reason and I was completely discarded even though I was great to her and her kid. It also annoys me that she can seemingly continue as normal now, back on Tinder uploading great pics of herself, out partying like as if she has an A care in the world but when I caught her cheating on me she was hysterically crying and telling me she wanted to hurt herself because of the pain she caused me she went through a short period of being suicidal a few years back. But yet she's completely different the last few weeks slash months while I'm an emotional roller coaster, just annoys the shit out of me and with all this I still have her on a goddamn pedestal where I feel I won't find someone as attractive or someone I click as well with ever again. Also I worry that maybe if I have another chance she would maybe change and take our relationship seriously but that's probably very doubtful. Here are some of the best comments from our community. She's back on Tinder because the guy didn't want her. She wanted to monkey branch and when she found out he was not that interested in her, she tried to get back with you. She wanted to continue being friends with the guy in case he wanted something serious in the future. Now that you told her nah, thanks, she's back looking for another fool. You did the best you could have done by staying away from her. Keep that up. You won't feel this shitty for long, I promise. Because she's mentally broken and incapable of being in a healthy relationship. Instead of fixing herself, she's broken you too. The only silver lining is you have a much better chance at a healthy relationship because she'll continue to engage in the same unhealthy behavior and traumatize her poor child while you will recognize who she is and focus on healing versus causing others pain. Your ex will just continue along a path of unhealthy relationships with poor behavior. Hey man. I'm sorry for what you're going through. I need to tell you a harsh truth that you don't want to hear though but you need to accept. People like your ex don't value their romantic interests beyond what they give them personally. They are the main character in the universe and no one else has true feelings so their guilt is non-existent beyond what they're maybe missing out on for themselves. She doesn't care about guys as people, she just cares about validation and what she can get out of it. She's probably very insecure, though she may try to hide that. She'll likely never be satisfied with one person in her life. Feel lucky that you got out of the relationship when you did and that the feelings didn't deepen or become more serious. You're free. Work on your happiness and yourself and don't worry about her. She doesn't worry about you. So this is your first relationship. You handled it exactly as you should and this will set you up going forward. If you are lucky you need someone like this early in your dating life, and that is what it is all for. So you learn what to avoid, what the red flags are. Hopefully that helps you be more discerning about who you pick moving forward. Almost everyone has this happen to them at some point in their life, it sucks but a pretty universal experience. The really unfortunate ones are the ones where it is their high school sweetheart and they catch them years later but has been going on the whole time. See you loved your girl like a person who you wanted the best for, but she loved you like a car or couch or something. She loved the utility you brought to her life. Usually these people make really poor partners, but if they are your first experience then you don't know any different so you just assume this is how it works. This is a very harsh lesson but one we all need to learn. I suggest you ghost her, she is not worth the effort. Well, 
I can at least say I get you. Especially the part with the fear of finding someone else you click so much with. Sometimes I think that cheating excluded they are see much better even than the most loyal person out there, it's so weird. But at the same time I am thinking they are such cowards as well. I am still in the roller coaster, so don't have much advice to give you. I do always wonder was there anything more I could have done. I guess just don't focus too much on how she is feeling, if she is happy etc. Focus in yourself, hanging out with friends, improving yourself. How she feels should no longer be impacting you. You definitely deserve to try out other people once you are ready. Good luck, mate. We will get through it. An additional disloyalty tale. The last time I heard his voice. There are several traumatic moments from the past year that I ruminate on, however there are two that protrude to me one of the most. The last time I heard my husband's voice was on the phone. He admitted he had actually been having a physical as well as emotional affair. His voice was really high and troubled. He claimed one of the most cold things to me like. I didn't know my selections when I was choosing who I intended to wed, I didn't mean my pledges, I do not love you and I do not want this marriage any longer, you're simply not the one for me, she is. He after that told me he enjoyed her. I do not even remember what I claimed after that, however all I keep in mind is the space around me fading and scenting smoke, I don't know why. The last time I saw my husband. I was up at 3 in the morning crying my eyes out asking him why he continued to hurt me in this way and why I wasn't enough. I know, I know. I have a flair for the dramatics. I remember I tried to touch his arm and he exploded and pushed me away, told me he wanted to die and that he wasn't coming home that night slash weekend and was going to stay with App, and then slammed the door in my face. It traumatizes me that he had sex with me when he was having sex with her, too. It makes me feel physically ill. Why was he so cruel to me? I see stories on here of spouses being assholes, but I feel like my husband intentionally hurt me to my core. He knew how to hurt me and kept stabbing me. I'm a sensitive person and it's almost like he wanted to hurt me in the worst way possible. People tell me he seems mentally ill with an attachment disorder. I still don't think it's excusable. I work in healthcare and I've seen severe mental illness and rude people, but to do that to someone that you've shared a life with, slept with, laughed with the last five years. Hell. At least just tell me calmly I don't want to be married anymore. I am sorry I cheated. He claimed I was his best friend. I am so traumatized by these moments that every time I reimagine them, my stomach hurts and I get shaky. Even typing them out, hurts me. Like I can't believe this is my life and that was my husband. Thanks for reading. Here are some of the best comments from our community. I'm so sorry to hear this happen to you. It might seem like you're not enough but you are. His actions aren't indicative of you. It's indicative of him. Reading your story I felt the room around me blur because it felt like I was reading my own. I felt like mine was intentionally hurting me too. Maybe they did it to push us further away? So they could get rid of us and not worry about us lingering. He wanted me to move my stuff out ASAP to erase evidence of me so he could have her over without that. I gave him what he wanted. It's been about 5 months now and it's still so painful and hard for me to comprehend. I don't know why he was so cruel and hurtful after I gave him everything for nearly 10 years. He didn't even show an ounce of remorse and I never got an apology and I'm beginning to believe I never will. I don't understand why they are so cruel and I don't think I ever will. I'm sure they have reasons though, unbeknownst to us. I'm really sorry you are going through this. I know how bad it hurts. I wish there was more I could do to help you but just know you're not alone. Heart. I'm sorry this happened to you. It is very cruel. He doesn't deserve to have a spouse like you. You are by far the better person and you truly deserve much better than him. Keep healing and go find the love you deserve. Hopefully, one day the thought of him and his actions will just be a distant memory. I had a very similar experience as you, many of the same words were spoken to me. I was also married to my best friend and thought we were happy, and we have four kids born out of our love to prove it. I am so sorry, it hurts so, so, so much. The only explanation I have been able to give myself is that the depth of the cruelty is indicative of the depth of his own guilt, shame and self-loathing, whether subconscious or not. He absolutely could not acknowledge the pain he was causing because that would require him to self-reflect and question whether or not he was a good person. So his cruelty and horrible words was a reflex to shoo that self-reflection away, make it disappear by pushing me violently away. And of course, any negative reaction I had allowed him to solidify his internal narrative that I was toxic and bad for him, justifying his atrocious behavior. 
or, he is simply disordered. Or a combo of all of the above. I am two years out from D-Day, nearly divorced and he plans to marry Al. And I still struggle with the flashbacks. Trauma-informed therapy and understanding CPTSD have been super helpful in my healing journey, though it's still ongoing. Hugs. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and hit the